This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I show you how I built this table onto my Lumina XL trailer. To accomplish this table, first thing you need to get is one of these wall mount table supports. Uh, these are what they use in uh, camper trailers and motorhomes. You can see how they fit together. So one is mounted on the wall, and the other is mounted on the table so I will have of course instead of a wall mounted to the side of my trailer now here's the wood I'm planning on using I'm gonna join it together with a biscuit joiner because this one piece is not quite big enough uh, two is a little bigger than what I care for so I'm gonna have to put a support in the middle um, so you can do however you want but this is my plan I want to make sure it's big enough for my stove to fit on. Ultimately, I would like a four-foot table, uh, but right now I'm not sure how I would carry that on my trailer. Uh, so for now, I figure I'll just do a uh, table on the side of trailer 1.0. With the, uh, the cuts in there, now it's time to dry fit it. So the glue says uh, give it 30 minutes to be kind of dry and then don't stress the joints for 30 minutes and uh, it's been about a week. So the glue should be dry, let's check it out. Seems like a sturdy table. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, is cut this off. I can use this as a brace, uh, but I'll cut that and then I need to sand it. This stuff was uh was on the clearance. So dollar twenty-five. I was thinking about just going completely clear. This is um, this is semi-transparent. Um, the stuff I was gonna get was like thirteen dollars, and this a dollar twenty-five. So I got this stuff. This is a, a stain and a sealer, so I don't have to worry about getting all damaged if it rains on it, if I spill something, or you know, grease, or whatever. Because this is gonna be my, uh, my surface for my stove. Oh, and this color, it looks a little orange, but it's called um, Redwood, Redwood Natural Tone. Redwood Natural Tone. Verify cooking again. It's just fine. It's time for this to go on the trailer. <clears throat> so I was going to use a level to put this bracket on, but then I realized um, the trailer is not exactly level. It's not bad, but I think I'll just measure to make sure this is even with with the trailer. So. <clears throat> 
So typical counter height, uh, at least in my house, is three feet. I, I can't do that on my trailer because my trailer's not that tall. So I'm drop it down. Now I do have a, uh, a table that is uh, to sit down at that's a lot lower. Um, but what I'm going to do is just bring it down what I think will be structurally sound, about three inches. Three So make sure this fits before I run the butyl tape. If you're wondering about where to get the butyl tape, um, in the spring, early spring, go to Camping World, it's usually on sale. And the butyl tape is used a lot in the RV world. A lot of the seams on motorhomes and trailers and what have you are sealed with the beetle tape. Makes a mess. If you tight enough, it squeezes the beetle tape. Time to test fit the table. Just like so. And I do want to put a, a brace on. This is where I want the brace. It's basically as close to the fender as I can get without having to worry about hitting it. And it's also close to the middle. So what I'm going to do is buy these little brackets. figure out is how do I want to attach the brace to the to the table. I don't really want something a bracket like this that's gonna get me when I'm packing. I don't really want to put this here because that's Seems like my option then, this option without actually attaching this to the to the table will be to mount the bracket on the edge of the table so it all fit in just right. Here we go. Now I have the table. You can't sit on it, but you can certainly put propane stove on here. So it's just held on. The brace is held on by friction. Um, I got this bracket here that holds it on up there. That bracket there, and then the force of the table holds it in place. So I don't have to worry about any kind of fasteners or anything that I'm going to lose. Uh, I just need these two pieces of wood. Brackets are in place. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.